Genesis 32, 22 through 31. In the course of the night, Jacob arose, took the entire caravan, and crossed the ford of the Yabbok River. After Jacob had crossed with all his possessions, he returned to the camp and was completely alone. And there, someone wrestled with Jacob until the first light of dawn. Seeing that Jacob could not be overpowered, the other struck Jacob at the socket of the hip, and the hip was dislocated as they wrestled. Then Jacob's contender said, Let me go, for the day is breaking. Jacob answered, I will not let you go until you bless me. What is your name? The other asked. Jacob. He answered. The other said, Your name will no longer be called Jacob, or heel grabber, but Israel, overcomer of gods, because you have wrestled with both God and mortals, and you have prevailed. Then Jacob asked, Now tell me your name, I beg you. The other said, Why do you ask me my name? And blessed Jacob there. Jacob named the place Peniel, face of God. Because I have seen God face to face, yet my life was spared. At sunrise, Jacob left Peniel, limping along from the injured hip. Psalm 121. I lift my eyes to the hills, from where will my help come? My help comes from God, who made heaven and earth. God will not let our footsteps slip. Our guardian never sleeps. The guardian of Israel will never slumber, never sleep. God is our guardian. God is our shade. With God by our side, the sun cannot overpower us by day, nor the moon at night. God guards us from harm, guards our lives. God guards our leaving and our coming back, now and forever. Luke 18, verses 1 through 8. Jesus was telling them a parable about their need to pray continuously and not to be discouraged. He said, in a certain city there was a judge who neither feared God nor respected people. In that city there was a widow who kept coming to the judge asking, give me justice in this case against my adversary. For a while the judge refused, but finally said silently, I don't fear God or respect people, but I will give this widow justice because she keeps bothering me. Otherwise, there will be no end to her coming here and embarrassing me. Jesus said, listen to what the unjust judge says. Won't God provide justice to all people who cry out day and night? Will God be slow to help them? I tell you, God will give them justice quickly. But when the promised one comes, will faithfulness be found on earth? 